Bullshit. This is a moment to be seized and savoured by the eight men lining up. Karl Nazarov of Estonia made the European Indoor Final last year. He's trying to fire up the crowd. He's in one. Jared Elcock will be on the outside in lucky lane eight. He's got a Pan American relay medal. This would be huge. Arthur Cisse advanced to the final. Made the semis four years ago. This is better and he's been consistent this season. Bolade Ajamale, semi-finalist back in 2016, came through the big test brilliantly. Here's the defending champion, the world champion and the world record holder, Christian Coleman, back in a USA vest. To Adam Thomas, national indoor champion, Scottish record holder. What a stage for him to be performing on. Can he harness the smiles and deliver? Marvin Bracey got a silver eight years ago. Could he upset the world champion and the Olympic champion? He swept all before him in Tokyo over 100 metres and in the relay. He will believe he has come here for one medal only, another gold. The stage is set for an epic showdown. The shortest race to glory. Coleman, the defending champion in three. Bracey, the former silver medalist in four. Jacobs, the Olympic champion in five. These are the kind of nights that dreams are made of. One of these men is about to make history in Belgrade. It's the final of the men's 60 metres. On your marks. Six and a half seconds to justify years of work and sacrifice. They're safely away. Bracey got a good start. Lamont Jacobs trying to get into his running. Christian Coleman's up at the moment. Oh, it's so, so close. It's so, so close. Is it? Is it the Olympic champion from the world champion just? I think, I think Jacobs might have done it. Coleman had the edge with about 15 metres to go. Then came the big high stride of the Italian Olympic champion. Coleman is desperate, desperate to announce his return to international competition with a gold. Neither of them are sure. Bracey ran really well. Coleman was definitely up. But I think, I think the Italian might have just done it on the line. But my goodness me, it's tight. Two men who have tasted global glory. They're watching and they're waiting. Jacobs doesn't know, neither does Coleman. Coleman came under pressure towards the end of the race. They're only watching themselves on the big screen. The drama lasting minutes after the race itself has finished. The time has been rounded down to 6.41. I think it was Jacobs just, but Coleman doesn't want to give up the belief that he could have just become the first man to successfully defend the title in 27 years, but he hasn't. It's Jacobs. Cometh the hour, cometh the Olympic champion. His dip on the line brings glory. And this incredible rivalry between the Italian and the American enters a new level. Coleman relinquishes his crown by the narrowest, narrowest of margins, three thousandths of a second. Bracey takes the bronze with a massive PB, but 
Marcel Jacobs came here determined to show everybody that even though Coleman wasn't in that 100 meter final last year, it wouldn't have made a difference. He has elevated himself to a different plane and the 100 meter Olympic champion becomes the world indoor champion with the best performance we've seen for years. He was under pressure. Coleman was reaching for it, searching for history. He thought the title was his, but it's gone to the Italian. Jacobs on top once again. What a performance and what a climax to a gripping night in Belgrade. This is why athletics is one of the best sports in the world. Who Who's got the heart? Who's got the belief? Who's got the desire? Who's got the talent? And who's got the composure? And the answer to that question tonight is Lamont Marcel Jacobs. He is the world indoor champion.